So now we're going to talk about posture on the bassoon. And um, it's a, it is a large instrument, so you have the seat strap, which helps immensely. But there's also sometimes a tendency among young players to play like this and to read the music off this way, which is not the best posture. You want to always be holding it across your body. The music comes right here, and you read the music there. Your left hand is bearing some weight. There's no doubt about it. When you first start playing bassoon, you will feel it in your left hand and your left arm. So try to also, when you're, when you're first playing, try to engage your back muscles as well, because that will help. It's, it's not all up to the arm and the, and the hand, because as you can see, your hand is going to be moving too, so you can't be glued onto the bassoon like that. You have to develop that back muscle in order to uh, support the instrument. And um, the other thing about, about this is sometimes you're not playing. You're in band, you're in orchestra, and they're doing something in another section of the orchestra. You need to know how to rest with the instrument. If you rest with it across your lap, there's a good possibility water is going to get into the tone holes, and the next time you pick up the instrument to play, you're going to get gurgling in here. And there's no way to get that out. Say you're in the middle of a, a piece of music, you can't stop and get that out because that needs a swap. And so when you're resting, try and keep the instrument upright. This is when you put it up on your right shoulder. Or if you do have to lay it down, you lay it down with the tone holes up or you lay it across you with the tone holes up. Never let the bottom get higher than the bell because again, the water goes into the unlined side of the instrument, and it can do a lot of damage on the other side. It can create mold and bacteria and things like that. So the best thing to do is put it up against your shoulder. If you do have to lay it down, say you have a break, lay it down with the tone holes up, and that's the best way to, to make sure that your instrument will stay um, um, without bacteria and mold.